I finally arrived in Tainan and it's kind of chilly. I thought it's gonna be really warm. I am finally near my hostel. I spent a long time figuring out how to use how to use the uh, um, bus system. It's a confusing AF. Like I was thinking, woo, traffic, like transportation in, in Taiwan's so easy because like the, the railway, the train, everything was so easy. But the bus system was so, so, so confusing. This is so beautiful. I'm not sure if you can see. Oh my god. Oh my is so quiet. Oh my god. I want to cry. Look at that. I don't think there is a place in the world so beautiful like this. All right, I'll focus. All right, I What do I need to do? So my room is W033. It's here. Okay. So according to the map, this is my room, which should be that one. Oh, water. I wanted to say no one's here until I saw something on the floor. But no one's here. Because I was really worried that like it's quite late now. But actually it's really not that late. It's like nine. But I was worried, you know, that some people might want to sleep early and keep their... I don't know. You know what, there's so many books in this hostel that I just don't know which one I should choose because I'm gonna stay here for like two days so it's not like I can read all the books but this is a time when I feel like oh my god I'm so happy I read Chinese <laughs> Anyway, this is gonna be my bed and uh, turn on the light Charger. Perfetto. Not sure if I've got the right converter. Um, this bag is for you to put your uh, clothes or whatever, um, toiletries when you go to shower, and a towel. I am thoroughly impressed. Sanitary pad? This place is magical. This feels like a bathhouse in Japan. I'm actually going out to have dinner. Hopefully places are still open. I haven't put on any makeup today, but I'm not going to apologize about that. Kaohsiung is 
cooler than I thought, as in temperature-wise, because I thought it's going to be really hot. I really wanted to wear a, a pair of jeans because I feel really comfortable in there, but I felt like, you know, if it's going to hit like 28 degrees Celsius, there's no point for me to bring the pair of jeans I really want to bring. <laughs> and I didn't bring it, and it's kind of chilly now. Anyway, I need to go out. So that shop over there seems to be the only restaurant that's open right now, so I will go there. Uh -huh. So this is gonna be my dinner for today. It's uh, 9 p.m. now. And it's basically a restaurant next to the road. I'm a little worried whether I can finish this, but they're actually quite teeny like this. So yeah, I'll demolish them. I'm not sure if this is reasonable, but I didn't even bring a tripod. I put vinegar, chili oil, and a bit of sesame oil in that. I'm now trying to go to the fourth floor. Apparently, it's like two different buildings. Oh, I need to be quiet. Someone there. I think that's the common area. Hopefully, no one's there so that I can. Clear, clear, clear. So nobody's here and this is the common area. <sighs> I don't know why I act like I've never been to a hostel before, but this is seriously the best hostel I've ever seen in my life. Outdoor area for tomorrow or not? <laughs> I think the indoor area is good enough. What's here? A completely new notebook waiting for inspiration. I think I can do a little bit of this, but what is this? What does it look like? Anyway, let's try. My, uh, my, my deepest fear about using... Oh, too light. Yeah, that's my fear, like sometimes it's too light, sometimes it's too, too like, um, dark, and I say dark, and when it's like really dark, it's like all muddled up, can't really see it. But yeah, uh, is, would it be the fact that the stamp pad is quite dried? Okay, better, better, much better. Oh, it's so cute, let me show you. Oh. So basically this is um, a bed and these are like the bookshelves that I showed you just now. That's my first attempt. Mm? 
I don't know, man. This is a bit lame. Again. Okay. This is so disappointing. The first one is so epic. And the second one was like, mm, I don't know what, what this is. This is probably like book. I don't, I don't know. And the third one, mm, I don't know. <laughs> I want a lot of this. This is so cool. I'm gonna make more of this. <laughs> so I saw some stamps here and they look like, I don't know what they are. And then it says, it's um, invented by two Taiwanese girls and it's it's like it's got like some award in Germany and then I tried it on and this is what they are like 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 what <laughs> all right I think I've spent enough time here and I should go back down and pick a book So I have changed my bed today and this is my bed for today. Toilet? And we can see like it's bunk bed in there. Oh, lots of books. I woke up today and was thinking where should I have my breakfast and then I talked to my roommate was really really nice and we are sharing like similar life experience right now and it was a very fulfilling conversation um, about age about work about life stages um, yeah and then I decided that I have to move on change to this new bedroom and I'm going out for a breakfast I think So this is pearl barley with um, red bean paste and this is green tea with some chewy rice ball. So supposedly I'm going to try this one first, the original taste, and then I'm going to add this into this. So this is unsweetened, this is sweetened, this is slightly sweetened and I'm trying to pour it in now. Do I pour all of them? Ooh! Okay. This is Rodin's Thinker. They look like this. And I really like this one. But the thing is, what do I want them for? I saw this just now and I didn't know this is a department that I wanted to go. It's called Department Hayashi. Lean Bai Huo. And it's like supposedly well, why do I say supposedly all the time? Because it is. It was a very old like building during Japanese occupation. Let me go and check it out. This is 
so interesting. Oh, this is so Christmassy, is it? No, it's not. original um, elevator in this building and you can see which floor it's on now I think that one is old and this one is probably new having um what do you call it ice lottie it's salted egg and cashew and i know i shouldn't be eating ice lolly but i can't help myself yolo that's a lot of squirrels where are they? <laughs> so this is Edamame and things I don't know what they are, but I think this is like pork blood. Oh, somebody wrote this in the, what do you call it? It's like a message book. Oh my God, look at that. <laughs> Alright, after a small alleyway like this, I've arrived at my next lodging, UIJ. So these are all the raw material that you can dye, fabric or yarn with but I really don't know what they are except this one I think this is a the kind of insect that provides red color dye so I'm gonna try dyeing something myself So this is the cloth that I'm going to dye, quite thin, so it, it's going to take the, fat, um, the dye quite readily. Yes, uh, yes, 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 Oh, 
是圆形，嗯，我们假装我们绕完了之后，就会像这样子，有没有？嗯、哦，然后这边是半径，哦，你越大圆就越大，就绑完之后就会变得像这样子一样，这样，嗯嗯。I just dyed my fabric in this big pot and I'm now letting the fabric or the dye to oxidize. It's turning um, blue from green. So this is gonna be mine. I really am not very sure about this ang this corner. And that one looks a bit weird. I don't know, I think they look a little bit too tidy for me. Because when I was doing it, I couldn't really see the position of every circle. I like this one. Especially this one. It's not mine, by the way. It's a it's a bag. So in Muji, Taiwan, you can pay to have your stuff engraved, not engraved, like embroidered. Um, but it's quite ugly. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> Alright, this is my room for the night. And I'm having the upper bunk today. So when I checked in, they lent me this book called Fu Cheng Wen Xue Di Tu Jiu Cheng Qu. So it seems like it's a, a book about Tainan in the perspective of literature in Taiwan. Um, and this is the room card. I'm now on the third floor, which is the common area. Show you what it's like. I'm actually very happy that they lent me this book because I saw this book in a bookstore today and I kind of want to read it but I mean I don't want to buy a thick book about Tainan because um, I may not like it and oh I just been I've just been to this place today 
it was okay. It's a Confucius temple. The, my favorite part of the temple is this plate. <laughs> I don't care about Confucius that much. Hey, mm -hmm. uh, I had to say it's like my favorite food in Tainan so far. It's called Mi Gao, and it's basically well, I think it's it's gonna be in the video, but this is like rice but it's like a sticky rice with some meat sauce and pickled cucumber on it um but i didn't go to taija mi gao went to bao and lu mi gao which is like the best thing ever all right after flipping over the book seems like um the structure of this book this book is written by a group of secondary school children and it's it follows the footsteps of five artists in, in or from Tainan. And this person, Ang Lee, is the director most famous internationally for the movie Brookback Mountain. But of course, he has a lot of other really good work. And Li An, Ang Lee, is from Taiwan. And this is supposed to be him. And I'm sure you wouldn't recognize him if you're just looking at the picture because it doesn't look like him at all. I actually don't know the rest of them, so I'm only going to focus on reading um, about Tainan. Not from the perspective of Ang Lee because it's not written by him, but following the footstep of Ang Lee. This is my bed for the day, or for the night. It's a canvas made in Taiwan. Space to put things over there. And this is the view and this is the height. It's actually not very tall. I'm using broad angle. It actually looks kind of like this. <laughs> okay. hostel and I have to walk up this thing okay in the camera it doesn't look like it's a lot of steps but it's a lot of steps so today I'm going to just check in very quickly put things down and then immediately go to uh, Kaohsiung Arena because I need to pick up the ticket for the concert I'm going to attend today I'm almost at the top I'll look for the hostel now all right, I've just got the entrance ticket for uh, the concert that I'm attending. Let me see if it's focusing. Yes, yes. All right, lots of people waiting to buy the merch related to the concert. Uh, I feel like I'm old enough to not line up to buy things, like extra things, because I've done similar things before and I definitely regret it. So yeah. So at my back, that's Kaohsiung Arena and now, while well, everyone is waiting in line for buying concert-related merch, I am now going to look for food, okay? That's where I'm looking for. I've ordered something that I'm quite positive I can't finish. But what can I do? <laughs> that's, a, that's one problem with solo traveling. Like, actually the only problem for me. Yeah, I'll try my best. I'm not sure if you can see, but let me zoom in a little. Look at what he's eating. That looks huge for a person. But I think I've ordered the same thing. If he can do it, I can do it. It has arrived. Da -da 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 -da. This is red bean paste, strawberry, ice cream, and some chewy stuff. I don't know what these are. Probably condensed milk. Look at how big it is. Oh. 
Oh, I like it. I like it. I don't know how to say, but it's like it's sweet. Like the red bean paste is sweet, but it's not like like the only thing you can taste is sugar. That kind of sweet. Chewy. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, that's mochi. Oh, it's so nice. I love this. Okay, I'm gonna eat. I'm gonna dig in. I love walking along the river wherever I go. seem to eat a, ver uh, a variant of something like this every day. Alright, I'm now at Yen Chung Fu in, I think it's like the south east of uh, southeast of Kaohsiung and I'm going to look for milk tea because apparently Taiwanese, pe Taiwanese people consume a lot of milk tea and it's gonna be my first cup of milk tea for uh, the whole trip and I spent my morning today talking to two wonderful ladies um, they stayed in the same hostel as I do and they went to the con concert yesterday as well or more crazily they went to the concert for the last two days and it made me really happy to meet friends it made me really happy to meet friends when I'm traveling um, especially friends who actually share a lot of uh, topics so this is gonna be my first milk tea for the journey and I have no plan for today so I don't know. So I just came across a bookstore. Can you love me? Is it real?
my push or do I pull? <laughs> I am a canvas tote bag lover. <laughs> what does it feel like for someone with a charcoal mask with gold flakes on it to speak with such dedication about her love for canvas tote bags? LL Bean tote bag. The original one doesn't come with a zipper, but I thought having a big tote bag like this would be very useful if I travel. And if I travel, I'll definitely want to make sure I have zipper because I've lost my wallet three times when I was in Italy. So yeah, this is so important. And it also kind of like increases the volume, the capacity of the bag as well. Look at that. Ooh, yeah. I feel like when you have a very sturdy bag, when you're carrying a lot of heavy groceries, it kind of makes it feel lighter, strangely. Even though this actually has its own weight, it just makes things feel lighter. One thing I don't like about it though, um, okay, two things, but the first thing I think is quite unavoidable and that is after washing it, I didn't throw it into the washing machine, I just hand washed it. After washing it, it will definitely lose a little bit of its sturdiness and if that's what you like, that's good. Uh, the second thing I really don't like about it is the fact that the color bleeds. This was used to be dark navy and now you can see like it's kind of red-ish and it looks like it's sun bleached. Look at that. It looks really old and grubby now. The color, the funny thing is like the color doesn't actually leak and stain the beige part of the canvas but on itself, it loses its color. And I'm going to show you the inside of it, which is super shameful because it's very dirty because I just traveled with it to Taiwan and I spilled tea milk, milk, tea milk, milk tea in there. And yeah, it's kind of dirty. Ugh. I need to wash it again. And look at the, the stain. This is from the milk tea. I still love it. It's still a really good sized bag, but um oh, 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 and also it doesn't have any like pockets inside, okay? It just looks really not very sophisticated now. When you read online, everybody would say, um, should I take this off? <laughs> when I, when you read online, everybody would say, um, it's a common thing with LL Bean told that the navy color and the red bag would bleed however you washed it, however you try, whatever you try to do with it. Um, and is that even acceptable? Because LL Bean Toad, LL Bean has been doing tote bags forever and navy and red are like their regular color. And if you can't make sure the color don't bleed, what about exploring methods to to make sure the color stays you know like why do the consumers have to accept it as a fact that the color is never gonna stay once you wash it for the first time is it a kind of like arrogance on behalf of the brand i don't know because like i really like um the bag it's very sturdy and i like the fact that it's been there forever i just feel like that's not very acceptable which brings me to my second tote bag i'm gonna show you today which is yong shen fan bu zhi this is a, a a tote bag that i bought from taiwan this time and you can see the size is slightly smaller so the width is kind of similar this one actually feels a lot more spacious in there first of all it's very sturdy and what i really think it's doing a lot better than ll bean toad is the finishing is perfetto the finishing is very very tidy if you can see the stitches it's tidy all over here. 
Meanwhile, if you look at the LLB in toad, you can see bits like this, like this. I know you're gonna say this is an unfair comparison because it's a lot more like a lot older than the new back that I've just bought, but trust me, they looked like this when they came. And let me take out the things inside. Immediately you can see uh, lots of stuff in there. Immediately you can see there is one pocket here with zipper. Oh, this bag doesn't come with a zipper though. Two, three, and then it comes with uh, this one. Okay, this one first. You can put your key in here and then something else here as well. And you can enclose the bag this way or this way. And the inside, the finishing. And all of this is handmade. And the buttons. The button says uh, Yong Sheng as well. Yong Sheng, Yong Sheng. I am obsessed. And I've also bought um, another bag from Yong Sheng as well. I am going to open this because I haven't even started to use it. Ooh, this is quite a lot bigger. It looks like it's kind of like navy. I don't know what color you can see in your screen, but it's actually black. Let me see. Oh, okay. A pocket outside. This is so useful. So useful for cell phone if you're in a safe place. Um, and octopus, I mean like travel card. In Hong Kong, we call it octopus card. London oyster. And on the inside, it has a zipper. One pocket. A smaller pocket. <laughs> the big pocket is so big. Oh god. <laughs> and then the same closure. It has a little loop here. But it doesn't have that long thing for me to put my key on. They are actually very different because this one... Hmm, the connection is here. But what I read is, or what they told me is that because it's like supported by like one complete strap around it it's very very strong and sturdy it's not like this is not gonna be sturdy it's not like this is not gonna be strong so that's not what i'm worried about anyway so i've just taken off the sheet mask and uh my face look a little bit red so that's my review for my babies. <laughs> Although they are like really new, I feel like I love them for a, a thousand years already. This is not an ad. I just really want to share with you what I feel, what I think about my canvas totes. Do you love to use canvas totes? I think they are really good. They're sturdy. They're very environmental friendly. Are they? I think they are. And cruelty free. And I just want to say if you're if you're going to Taiwan, if you're going to Tainan, definitely check the store out. It's Yongshen Fan Buhang. I'm going to put the information uh, down below in the description box if they have any. I don't think they have an English name, but they're just called Yongshen Fan Buhang. Yongshen is the name of the shop, and Fan Bu means canvas. Uh, Hang is like shop, store. Yongshen Fan Buhang. It's a brand that has been here for a long time i wouldn't i is it a century old or maybe it's almost a century old i think it was founded in 1920 something 1930 something when taiwan was still occupied by japan i like the color options they offer which is not a lot there might be like up to three to four colors in each type of bag but I think that's quite enough for me, especially for people who have problem, who have difficulty choosing the perfect color. I like the finishing, I like... I can't say brand story because I don't know what the brand story is about. But like the fact that a lot of people from Taiwan have been using it for a long time and they're like really good quality brand. 
the director I mentioned in this video, the Taiwanese director Ang Lee that I mentioned in this video, um, actually used bags from them when he was a school kid in Tainan, and even after he became famous and. Uh, I think he's staying in the states now with his kids and family. He came back to Taiwan whenever uh, to Tainan and bought some bags from Yongsheng Fan Buhang for his own kids because he wanted them to know what their father was using when he was he himself was a student. And I think that's a pretty cute story. If you go to the shop in Tainan. On the shelf, like in the shelf outside, from the outside, you can see a tote bag with Ang Lee's autograph, and I really want that bag. Like I don't want that bag with his autograph, but I like the look of that bread, that bag. But I don't think they are producing it anymore. So maybe one day I can try to make it myself. And that's it for my canvas love.